Well, 2018 was a very challenging year, particularly in the UK, but our continental portfolio delivered a much stronger performance. But we are intensely focused on managing the business to take account of the realities of the environment we're in. Last July, we set out our revised strategy, focusing on the three strategic pillars of capital efficiency, operational excellence, and optimizing our portfolio. We're making really good progress, and I think our priorities are clear. We strongly believe that reducing debt best positions Hammerson for the current environment and beyond. But this also provides resources to invest into our flagship destinations and also provide capital to invest in undoubtedly the opportunities that will arise over the coming years. Now we're committed to exiting retail parks over the medium term, but having undertaken a portfolio-wide review, we're not limiting ourselves to those disposals. We've set out a clear target of at least £500 million for this year and in fact we're in active discussions with a number of parties for £900 million of disposals and that's across all sectors and all territories. Now clearly all of these disposals are subject to market conditions and ensuring we get the appropriate prices that we think adds value for shareholders. But what we're seeing is a significant shift in retail. Well, there are three key trends. Firstly is the shift to online, which clearly is challenging our business. But it's not all bad news. And you see that in the particularly strong level of leasing demand in all of our centres. And secondly, elevating experiences in line with consumer demand, providing a level of experience through events across all of our venues. And finally, thriving cities. We are centred on some of the largest most vibrant cities across Europe, which are growing like never before. So online penetration is clearly having an impact on physical space. We've seen a progression to about 18% in the UK in recent years, and the direct result of that is store closures. It's not a simple story though, and it depends on the type of occupier, and what we're seeing is occupiers are tending to want to be in flagship city centre locations. These are the venues that we offer. Luxury department stores have been the standout winners during 2018, with high street fashion the most challenged. However, there are retailers in all categories that are growing in brand presence and sales, and it's our job to spot the winners. A shop's no longer just about a place where retailers sell stuff. Brands want exposure direct to their customers in a great environment. So we've got strong demand for our centres. In fact, we saw record leasing levels in the UK last year. We're targeting those brands and occupiers who really drive the experience and the excitement for our customers. Experiences are really important for Hammerson destinations because they attract people. Um, so they give people a reason to come to our centres. So if you took something like James Charles opening Morphe um, in Bullring, that attracted around 8,000 people. So it's a really unique, tangible, exciting experience. It generated headlines across the world. And actually something like the Festival of Light at West Quay is a really great example. That attracted around 120,000 people over a 10-day period. So, you know, these are really important experiences that really benefit our retailers. So in 2019, we're investing over 2 million in experiential events within our flagship destinations, but we're also doing a lot more local events and activities within the centres. And as people want to spend longer in our centres and engage with those experiences, we need to invest in actually the physical environment too and digital technology to ensure that it's as seamless and easy as possible. We're also looking to make the most of our broader footprint with city quarters. Thriving cities need retail, but also other uses. And we have around 100 acres of land adjacent to our flagship destinations. And that gives us the opportunity to break down the walls between those destinations and those thriving cities in which they're located. So when we look at thriving cities in the long term, it's a mindset change for us. These are places where people live, they shop, they play, and they work. We're starting the journey of breaking down the walls of our flagship assets to create value in the short term and in the long term as we tap into the needs of our thriving cities. We're fully focused on maximising the success of our destinations and running the business that takes account of the challenging environment we're in but also ensuring it's fit for the future. We're enhancing the experience for our shoppers and finally we're thinking beyond retail 
looking at our venues, expanding them into vibrant neighbourhoods through city quarters, which provide more resilient, more prosperous business well into the future. So the quality of our destinations, combined with the undoubted talent in our business, gives us confidence about Hamson's future and our ability to provide returns to shareholders going forwards.